Today's video is going to be a bit different than the videos we have made so far. We are going to learn a bit of PineScript. I have made a video before also on PineScript where we learned how to create your own indicators in trading using PineScript, where we learned how to generate signals on the chart by colorful labels, buy signal, sell signal based on certain conditions, how to how to write conditions using PineScript, what are the different conditional operators available and all those things. If you haven't watched that video yet, please go and check this video. This is, uh, this is a video where I have explained it in length, right? Right from zero to how to create a full-fledged indicator that can generate such signals also. So first, let me show you what we are going to learn today. This is Nifty future chart and uh, there is a indicator called magic line you will not find it in trading view it's my personal indicator but but i'll just show you what we are going to learn there is an option uh, called trend zone background so if i check if i check this see the the background of the whole chart changes to convey some message what is the message it's conveying me is that whenever the trend of the chart whatever chart i have opened right it could be any instrument but if the trend of the chart has is uptrend then the background color should change to something that signifies the trend direction or if the trend is say downtrend it should change to some other color so we we'll learn how to do this today i will show you how to dynamically change this color based on your your condition and if you don't like the entire background to be colorful so we can also do this for example instead of painting the entire background in some color we can use a band right a band either say for example here or say trend zone band bottom or top or wherever we can also use a band just to highlight when the price is an uptrend or downtrend Right? I'm not talking about the logic or the method we are going to use to identify the trend. You can use your logic or your method, but we are going to learn how to dynamically change this color based on our condition using PineScript. All right, so let's go to our Pine editor. Let me zoom in it a bit so that you can read it properly. We are going to use version 5 this time because version 5 is the latest version and it's better to learn how to write the Pine script in latest version. Last video was made in version 4 because then version 5 was not there. Here in version 5 we write an indicator. We can give it a name. Say show me the trend. Okay. <coughs> Then overlay is important. Do you guys remember what is overlay? Overlay true means whatever we will plot, it will be plotted right on the chart along with the candles. If I use overlay A equals to false, that means it would appear in the bottom pane, bottom pane where you generally see the oscillating indicators like RSI and MACD, right? So we will, we will see that also. How to identify the trend? We are not going to discuss any particular method or any strategy here, but we will learn how to code that in PineScript. So let's take any simple example. Uh, we can take a crossover of moving average or moving average based trend identifier, but I think we have already used that in the last video. So let's try something else. Say my RSI, let's try something with RSI. Say my RSI, which is nothing but my variable to read the value of RSI series. And in version 4, it was okay to write RSI and the parentheses along with the parameters. But in version 5, they have introduced a new syntax where we are supposed to write TA.RSI. And I can, again, now you see the color has changed. If I hold my mouse here, I can see the function prototype it, it still accepts source and length so let's pass in the source is your close and length is 14. if my condition is if rsi goes above 60 my chart should tell me that the price is an uptrend and if it goes below 40 my chart should tell me by changing color that the trend is downwards 
we'll use this simple condition okay but in order to read this right in order to dynamically read the direction of the trend we will need a variable why variable we cannot use a constant value variable means it its value will keep on changing based based on the condition so let's first create a variable trend uh, color okay and what are we going to read what is the condition we have condition is my rsi condition is based on my rsi is greater and equals to say 60 okay then you know this is a conditional operator if you don't know this right way is go here and this is the link i shared in last video also go to version 5 and you can see all these new syntax this is a conditional operator we are going to use so you can read that the syntax and all this so my rsi if it is greater than equals than 60 then i want a can i want the color to be changed to say color dot new this is all version 5 things color dot say lime or green right along with the transparency i don't if i don't use transparency it will be too bright right because lime color is too too sharp too bright so we'll use a bit of transparency you can use 60 70 50 which whatever suits your eyes but if this condition is not true then i want the color to be changed to say new then you have color dot we hope you haven't forgotten right control space bar it will give you all the possible options you can choose rgb colors or whatever uh 80 now what is this condition it says if my rsi which is nothing but a 14 length rsi the value of my rsi at the current candle if it is more than 60 it should change the color to line else it should change the color to red the condition is not correct right because if the rsi is say 58 it will change it in red which is not correct right so we need to tweak the condition a little bit okay here if it is more if it is greater than 60 it's fine but here i will add another condition if my rsi is less than or equals to 40 then another condition then the color should be red right if this condition is false which would mean if this condition is true it will change to green if this condition is false it will go here here there is one more condition it will check okay if this condition is true it will change the color to red if this condition is false it will come here okay and here say let me write color dot gray say 50 what it is doing now it's telling us now there is a condition dynamically it will read the value of rsi at the current candle if it is more than 60 it will change it to lime if this condition is false it will come here else it will go there okay now what we want is there is a function called bg color and we simply will plot whatever our function right whatever color value is stored in the trend color we, we are not plotting anything so let's remove this okay let's save this first if i say test zone uh, let's name it properly because it's a test yeah, so let's create a test zone okay we save it we save it and what do we see is there an error there is no error so let's zoom out a bit so that we can add it to the chart if i go back and add it to the chart what do i see there that background color has changed based on the value of rsi okay how do i double check is if i go and apply rsi here and let's compare it whenever the value goes above 60 it the background color changes to green when it goes below 60 here it's 59.72 it changes to green when it goes below 40 it changes to red and if i go to say a smaller time frame 
there also I can see it changing the colors right see according to our condition that here the nifty was in uptrend or downtrend and you can apply it to any uh, stock as well say for example HDFC I can see HDFC was in uptrend here in the shorter time frame I can go to five minutes or I can go to daily chart or I can go to weekly chart to see HDFC has not been in uptrend on a weekly chart for a long time right on a daily chart and then on an hourly chart whatever so what we learned was how to change the background color based on a certain condition what if instead of background color I want to plot a bar I showed you that bar right okay what do we do then so let's keep it here and try to build another method to identify trend MACD is very popular we can use MACD right whenever the MACD line is above signal line it's generally in considered to be an uptrend and if MACD line is below signal line it's downtrend let's try to create a simple condition okay so instead of first of all we'll have to read the value of MACD now what is the syntax for MACD we go there version 5 built-in functions as I said we will have to see under TA right so TA 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 dot MACD what is the syntax so MACD accepts source fast length slow length and signal length and it returns us three series one two three what are these three three series first is the MACD line signal line and histogram line and these are the default values of MACD parameter if you have used MACD before you must be knowing it so let's try to write a code around this so how do you write it so you see there was a parenthesis this parenthesis is supposed to be used so we write parenthesis first it will return us the MACD line which is a series then signal line then a histogram line and what is the function t dot MACD what are the values it accepts it accepts for source which is your close then fast length which is your 12 26 and 9 right these are the generally the default values so what this line will do it will on the current candle it will run this formula and will give us three series values right MACD line value signal line value and histogram value what are we interested in only these two fine so we have read these in this one and now we want to change the color change the color right change the color based on the status of MACD line and signal line so let's give it a name trend we because we are creating a band trend band color okay equals to trend band color if mark the line is above signal line right simple if MACD line is above signal line this is my condition then the color new equals to color dot say uh, line right and this time because it's going to be a bar there uh, so we want some sharp color so let's not use transparency if this condition is true then it will the this trend bar variable will have color dot line if it is false then this should have red right so let's use this color dot new color dot red and zero okay so this trend band color will have variable color based on this condition okay MACD line is above signal line it will have lime color MACD line is not above signal line it will have red color but how do I plot that line right so I'll give you a trick so this is the so this is the trick here plot shape basically we are not plotting a, a band we are plotting a shape what shape we are plotting so what is the six syntax for shape series it will accept a series what is our series here there is no series because we are not plotting a moving series right 
So all we can do here is just put a true here. So whatever it has to be printed or it has to be plotted. Next is what we are plotting. Uh, next is title style title. If you want to use a title, use a title that print band. then you have style how do you plot a style let's go and check here in the pine script library what are we using plot shape so we'll have to go to p let's find plot shape here plot 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 shape what is style style is again shape dot this blah 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 so we we are going to write shape dot we want say not circle squares what next then you have color the color is important what should be a color we have already stored a color in a color variable okay then you have what else we want location right where the bar should be printed or the band should be printed location is location dot bottom or top we can you can go and see here location is bottom top what else we want let me see uh, we want no we don't want text size size is good let's add some size mm -hmm. size equals to size dot uh, small is good let's save this is there an error there is no error then it's fine let me zoom out first so that we can go and see it on the chart see now we see this band here now this band is based on a different condition that's why these two color colors are not sync now not in sync let me do one thing let me add macd here macd and check if our logic is working fine you see this signal line is above macd line so it's in red whenever the crossover happens from here it turns into green that's it that's how it works so see it was simple we were able to create these colors we were able to plot these colors and change them dynamically easy if you want to add something else if for example let's add another condition i also want to plot uh moving average right say ema sorry ta dot ema closing basis 20 ema okay 20 ema and then color equals to color dot new color dot blue simple save it oh there was some compile error we didn't realize what was the error on assign arguments plot this is getting closed this is getting closed series we are giving the ema ta.ema is our series then we are giving color then we are giving line weight, title, not needed. Oh, sorry. We missed the transparency part. We don't want this to be transparent. So now it's saved. Go here. You see the EMA. Now I have, I don't want this because I have already incorporated the MACD condition in my indicator. Now, what I what do I see is whenever the trend color changes green and the price is also taking support from say 20, right? I can build a setup on, on it, right? Just an example. This is no setup. This is no method. I'm just what if you want to add say plot ta dot vwap, okay? Vwap on closing basis okay add some color to it so that we have color dot new 
color dot purple zero we good now we need one more okay let's save this see now in this one indicator you have multiple signals to help you identify the trend it trends right it is plotting it is using different methods to identify trend the background color is working on an RSI based condition whereas this band is showing you a trend based on a MACD condition you have a VWAP here you have the price going above VWAP and above 20 there is a here also the price taking support from VWAP it stayed here for some time and then it's taking support from VWAP it's already about 20 MACD is in green RSI is in green it's a good good call condition right I think we created a setup <laughs> and this is not a setup so you understand uh, how we can plot these colors how can we change these colors dynamically you can use your own method to identify the trend uh, these methods are just for example purpose but build your own method uh, one person uh, sent me a message also regarding I remember now let's cover that also how to plot multiple RSI's right or uh, so le let's try to do one thing instead of using this some simple RSI based condition let's try to uh, use a crossover of RSI so not crossover but comparison of two RSI's uh, just like we have MACD let's say one is fast RSI and one we have a slow RSI so fast RSI say for example we are using a condition of 9 and then here we can say TA dot RSI close 21 just for example there is these are just some random numbers now I have two RSI's I have read them in fast RSI and slow RSI variables now I want this trend color to change based on the RSI. If fast RSI is above slow RSI, it should turn into um, green. So my condition instead of RSI greater than 60, I will say if, if fast RSI is greater than slow RSI, right? Not slow, slow RSI. Then the condition, the color should change to line. Else now there is no third color here the else the color should be uh, we don't need this condition else it should turn to red now the background color will change according to the condition of these two RSI's right if I save this what is that trend color I uh, where this oh where did the T go okay now I save this and I go here now this is different this is a different condition based on a different method of identifying trends and this is how you can use multiple RSI's also just like we have fast MACD line and slow slow moving average and fast moving average you can choose a different condition one thing I forgot to tell you was uh, overlay right if I change the overlay to say false because I don't want the background color to be painted with something because then it it uh, reduces the readability of the chart so I want this background color to be plotted in the in the bottom pane where we generally have our size so what I'll do I'll do this overlay equals to false but then I can't plot these together right so we'll uh, we'll have to remove what's happening we'll have to remove them now this is my condition okay overlay is false one more thing I'll have to remove this first from the chart because I have changed the location of the chart or the layout of the chart completely this is the condition we have two RSI's let's try to use a more faster RSI one RSI based on 5 length and 21 length and I want this to be plotted at the bottom of the chart so I save it first no errors now I add it to the chart and I go to the chart see it's not in the background it's here here it's changing the color wherever RSI 5 is above RSI 21 it changes the color to the line and wherever the RSI go 5 goes below RSI 21 length it changes the color to the red 
okay and it doesn't matter which time frame you're working in right see here it's completely in say red zone how do we use this right uh, let me show you take an example from here the rsi from here onwards my trend zone my trend zone uh, this this uh, this color says that the price is an uptrend after this right the color has changed on a daily time frame what if i am trading on a hourly time frame what i should be doing is ideally i should be looking for trading opportunities when say for example if i'm trading on one hour chart right so i should be looking for trading trading opportunities when the price turns into a uh, price enters a green zone on one hour chart right the, let's see what i'm trying to say see here i will not buy here i will buy here after whenever that price enters in this green zone i will try to look for buying i'll try to look for buying opportunities not for selling opportunities because i know on the higher time frame the price is in uptrend it's very easy for you to switch quickly from daily time frame to the hourly time frame and see what what is the trend in the higher time frame what is the trend in the lower time frame and accordingly you find the right opportunities i'm not saying this is a method uh, because we have used some random condition this is not the method you build your own method you build your own condition setup i am here explaining you how you can code it how you can change the colors based on your condition okay hope uh, you like the video and please do share your feedback with me thank you very much